Harlem, man. Harlem, Harlem. I be in Harlem, man. I be in Harlem, man. We the only thing moving, man. The only thing moving. Deep man. in the game, mob. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Fortieth. Fortieth. Harlem. Harlem. Yeah. Uh. Chase, what's the most money you spent during one sitting shopping? Or you knowing one shopping engagement? Probably like $260,000. In a day? Yeah, because I bought this house and I bought a Rolex that very day. So. Bust down, you know, with, with additional nah, Rolex? I ain't bust it down. Just, just a um, 1992 presidential. 18 karat, flawless face, pretty much. I ain't gonna buy like a phantom so I could be living out there, bitch. <laughs> right. Years, you know? Yeah, you did it right. You did it right. How would you, uh, what type of advice would you give to a young artist who just received a check? How would you prioritize things with a million dollars? I mean, First I million dollars. That, I know for a fact, like, because when I got my, my check, I didn't have shit, so... I made a lot of wrong decisions. I wanted all of a sudden. I want to take Ubers everywhere. I want to do this. I want to do that. But think about it. When shit hits the fan, which it definitely will, you're gonna wish you had all that money you spent back on just dumb shit. One day you're gonna wish you had it back, huh? Of course. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we living in a generation where niggas is doing drugs and popping pills. It's like that's literally wasting money. How many Ubers in a day? Four, five, you know what I mean? Like that shit adds up quick, you know what I mean? Right. What um what uh media outlets, not 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 necessarily not necessarily media outlets, what radio stations were showing you love? Who was spinning your records and shit? I would say Hot Nine. Hot Nine Seven was really showing me love. Yeah, they was really showing me a lot of love. Ebro and all of those dudes. Right. Yeah. I know I heard, I, I definitely heard Still Smoking on the radio and shit on Sirius Satellite. One of them joints, I remember I called, I'm like, yo, bro, you on the radio right now and shit. Like, I didn't even expect that record to go that far because I didn't know you that well at the time and mm. shit. And uh, I remember when he was, he was just around me, like the day before y'all shot that video because he was with me. He, the same clothes that he had on in the video, mm. he had it when we was kicking it and shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And um. I didn't, I didn't, I thought he was just doing a feature with somebody from Harlem and shit. I didn't know that that shit was going to go like that. But he's always been a very, very big, you know, supporter. And he speaks highly of you on Casa. Word up. Yeah, man, like, he's the type of dude, bro, like, man, he, there's only one of him. Put it like that, bro. Like, there's been times I've been fucked up and he came through and, like, really, you know what I mean, saved the nigga, like, for real. If you could work with any any specific pr producer, who would it be? If you had a producer at your disposal, who would you lock lock in with for that sixty days that you're talking about? Well, Pharrell. Pharrell. Yeah, if I had a if I had a choice, yeah. Do you know him? Pharrell. Have you met him? And I've met him a couple times, but not on like a working capacity. Just on some like, hey, what's up? You know what I mean? No doubt. Who would you say that uh, predominantly? listens to your music with dip with demographic with age groups um from what i'm seeing um, um from what i'm seeing like it's a pretty global thing it's a pretty global thing like it shocks me to see like europe and canada and things like that like people fuck with me more out of the country more than in the country that's the funny thing about it and then, like, a year later, they'd start doing shit I did, like, two years ago. You know what I mean? Mm. And it's like, oh, my God, it's so groundbreaking. So it led me to believe, like, man, maybe I was a little bit too ahead. You know what I mean?